Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to show you uh, this spreadsheet uh, and then uh, this entire video, which is broken up into uh, four segments, including this one. Um, I'm going to show you what, what I try to do is I try to get this spreadsheet um, with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six um, worksheets in it and try to get a, uh, make a database out of these uh, in uh, this Postgres database using uh, Razor SQL. Now I've shown this uh, in a previous video. What I'm trying to basically do is there's separate worksheets of, of stocks, ETF, future, index, mutual funds, and currency. So these are all the assets tracked by Yahoo Finance. and. Um, Basically, the spreadsheet has uh, the ticker that you'll find in uh, Yahoo Finance, the name, uh, where, where does that asset reside on what exchange, the category, the country of where that stock is, as well as the category name. Now, this is also not, this is broken up by country as well. And here they are. So, Europe, uh, Switzerland, South Korea, everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to try to put these into a separate database just to show how big these uh, worksheets are. This one's uh, nearly 15,000. The ETF is uh, 10,000 nearly. Future, obviously, all the futures, uh, nearly t over 12,000. Index, uh, you know, obviously, nearly 12,000. Uh, mutual funds were f nearly 5,000 and the currency pairs which is another 3,600 so you can imagine the amount of data that's going to be put into these databases or tables within this database this is one example the futures now for some reason when you import and you'll see this later in the video segments on, on strangely enough why I don't know why they're bombing but it gets the majority of them in there. And for now, I'm, that's, I'm working with that. Uh, ultimately, I'm, I'm wanting to update and get a better list. Um, but I do walk, I try to walk you through on how to accomplish this task, which is pretty well no easy feat. Um, and, I, and I'm gonna try to help guide you through this. So um, hopefully uh, people will take some value from this and uh, we'll go from there. Talk to you later. Okay, so after the last disastrous import, um, I had to break the uh, process. This is Java. When you, when you call up your task manager, you'll notice there's a trick, the Java platform SE binary. That's the process that our uh, Razy SQL is running on. So you have to break that if you run into problems, just like that. <laughs> okay, let me just bring her back up. Um, get rid of that window, this window, log in my database is how you connect with it, I've got it all set up, um, click, 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 go to the right database, test, which is this guy, if you come under tables, okay, uh, here's our new table that we just ran in the previous video segment, uh, let me just run a query here. I just want to show you that some data they make it. Uh, test, that's the name of the database. And future. And run. So we have 12,872. Well, guess what? Close, but no cigar. So we came close, but we're still missing quite a bit. So uh, there is a trick to it all. Um, I'm just going to walk you through this, uh, or no, sorry, delete from, this is all standard uh, SQL, from test, uh, future, I think that's all I need for the, okay, let me just make sure there is, uh, select count, from test, test, future. Okay, so we're back to zero. So we're gonna do all that again. So we got our future, uh, which one's our 
import here. Blah, blah. Where's our import? Hello, Mr. Import. Where's the proper button? I know it's coming up there. There it is. Okay, so we're going to import again. Same. Everything's the same. There's a, remember I told you to read this, all this info very carefully. So we're inputting again, Excel 97, right? Make sure you click on the right schema. We want test, my case. You have the file that uh, uh, is, is already exists. So we're gonna put in all the data now into future. I'm gonna go next. Okay, uh, so we're using that Excel, I'm just going to be Excel 2003. Um, so we're going to navigate to the proper folder. Uh, MATLAB, uh, Yahoo. So we want this one right here. Okay, so all that looks good. Now, um, I'm going to skip a row to prevent that error message from flagging, but there's a bunch of other um, conditions that may throw everything off. Because um, remember, I'm new at this as well. These videos will help you out. I'm going to click Next. Now, last time you saw I, these error messages popping up, well, I'm going to say do not halt on error. So you got to make sure you click that on. It's also saying execute uh, one statement at a time. I'm going to try to make it go faster. So if it, if it bombs with errors, uh, it, sh it should still continue importing or attempting to import. So let's see what happens here. It's going to, it's going to do it in batches of 500 as well. So let's hope. Um, oh, yeah. We want, let, just for kicks, we're going to create an SQL file as well. Um, so what will happen is um, we browse uh, to, uh, I don't know, wherever you want to put this file. I think this is very useful to have the data portion of the SQL you, you can generate. This is why I really like uh, Razor SQL. This is quite good, actually. Um, where's our ticker? So let's call it uh, future data. SQL okay so let's pray that this works okay so now we are going to execute let's hope that it works okay there she goes okay let's see what happens here and as usual uh, we run the same problem I'm gonna let this run and see where it goes talk to you in a bit in the next video okay so after the last disastrous import um, I had a break the uh, process this is Java when you when you call up your task manager you'll notice there's a trick the Java platform SE binary that's the process that our uh, Razy SQL is running on so you have to break that if you run into problems just like that <laughs> okay let me just bring her back up um, Get rid of that window, this window. Log in my database is how you connect with it. I've got it all set up. Um, click, click, click. Go to the right database, test, which is this guy. If you come under tables, okay. Uh, here's our new table that we just ran in the previous video segment. Uh, let me just run a query here. I just want to show you that's some data they make it. Uh, test, that's the name of the database. And future. And run. So we have 12,872. Well, guess what? Close, but no cigar. So we came close, but we're still missing quite a bit. So uh, there is a trick to it all. Um, going to walk you through this, uh, or no, sorry, delete from, this is all standard uh, SQL, from test, uh, future, I think that's all I need for the, okay, let me just make sure there is, uh, select count 
from test test future. Okay, so we're back to zero. So we're going to do all that again. So we got our fu uh, future. Uh, which one's our import here? Bah, bah. Where's our import? Hello, Mr. Import. Where's the proper button? I know it's coming up there. There it is. Okay, so we're going to import again. Same. Everything's the same. There's a, remember I told you to read this, all this info very carefully. So we're inputting again, Excel 97, right? Make sure you click on the right schema. We want test, in my case. We have the file that uh, uh, is, is already exists. So we're gonna put in all the data now into future. I'm gonna go next. Okay, uh, so we're using that Excel, I'm just going to be Excel 2003. Um, so we're going to navigate to the proper folder. Uh, MATLAB, uh, Yahoo. So we want this one right here. Okay, so all that looks good. Now, um, I'm going to skip a row to prevent that error message from flagging, but there's a bunch of other um, conditions that may throw everything off. Because um, remember, I'm new at this as well. These videos will help you out. I'm going to click Next. Now, last time you saw I, these error messages popping up, well, I'm going to say do not halt on error. So you got to make sure you click that on. It's also saying execute uh, one statement at a time. I'm going to try to make it go faster. So if it, if it bombs with errors, uh, it, sh it should still continue importing or attempting to import. So let's see what happens here. It's going to, it's going to do it batches of 500 as well. So let's hope. Um, oh, yeah. We want, let, just for kicks, we're going to create an SQL file as well. Um, so what will happen is um, we browse uh, to, uh, I don't know, wherever you want to put this file. I think this is very useful to have the data portion of the SQL you, you can generate. This is why I really like uh, Razor SQL. This is quite good, actually. Um, where's our ticker? So let's call it uh, future data. SQL okay so let's pray that this works okay so now we are going to execute let's hope that it works okay there she goes okay let's see what happens here and as usual uh, we run the same problem I'm gonna let this run and see where it goes talk to you in a bit in the next video Hey there, uh, Brian here. I uh, just went over through the close inspection of this once again terminated session of a importer of inserts. Uh, looks like when I look at the um, the uh, data, uh, the data is still the same as before, 12,870 rows. Um, but I can verify that this, the majority of them got loaded in or inserted because this is the last one, this uh, fuel oil swap cargoes. So that's the same. Um, so majority, for whatever reason, some didn't get loaded in. I'm not gonna worry about it too much at this point, um, but uh, I can confirm that majority have gotten loaded, just so you know.